Hi, I'm Larry Richardson, your step-by-step -step chef. In this episode, we're going to make one of my favorite grilling sides. It's grilled mushrooms and onions. And that's about it. It's grilled mushrooms and onions. Now, I did a um, stovetop version of this on my website, stepbystepchef.com. But since we're going to work with the grill a little bit in the next 100 recipes, I've, I've just been dying to make this for you. It absolutely is delicious on its own as a side or having it with steak. Man, is it good with grilled steak. So come on, let's cook. And for our grilled mushrooms and onions, first of all, I have 24 ounces of Baby Bella mushrooms. Now, if you can't get the Baby Bella, white mushrooms are fine, but the Baby Bellas have just a little bit more of an earthy taste to them. I also have two sweet onions, and again, you can use yellow onions if you want, but the sweet onions with the Baby Bellas, oh, do they complement each other. They are so delicious. Then I'm going to use one teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of vegetable oil. This dish is that simple. And honestly, I tried to think of ways to complicate it, but some dishes are just at their best when they're made simply. So let me show you how to put it all together. And this is a rough cut dish. So we're just going to cut the ends off the onions. Get rid of the peel. There goes the skin, kind of right off. Mmm, that's a sweet smelling onion. And then all I'm going to do, oops, let me get rid of that, there we go. All I'm going to do is cut this into slivers. And you really don't want to do much more than this. I don't want it to fall into the grill. These pieces hold up so well to the mushrooms. So we're just going to sliver both of our onions and put it into this bowl. And that's about, um, at the end, it's about a half inch thick sliver. So that's just going in. And I'm going to do the second onion exactly the same way. And then with the, with the mushrooms, what I want to do is not cut them too small. I'm going to take each of these mushrooms and slice it into thirds, just like this. And you can see how thick the pieces are, because these will shrink down when we're out at the grill. So I'm going to cut all of these down, and they've, they've been rinsed off already. And we're just going to do that. So I'm going to do that with all of the Baby Bellas, and I'll be right back. So here are the onions and Baby Bellas all sliced up and ready to grill. Now I'm just adding my tablespoon of salt. There we go. And then my two tablespoons of oil. And I wouldn't go too far overboard on the oil because the vegetables will get greasy, and I will stir these in. I will stir this oil into the mushrooms and onions, and it just helps to keep them moist and helps them to cook a little bit, um, a little bit better on the grill. But I also do use a non-stick pan when I'm cooking these, so that helps too. And I'll show you that out at the grill. Okay, so here we are out at the grill. I started according to manufacturer instructions. Now, I want you to start your grill by your manufacturer instructions. There's a reason for that. If the gas builds up, something goes wrong, and your mushroom and onions end up out in outer space or up in the trees, I don't want to get messages. So just follow the directions and you'll be fine. So I have the grill. It is preheating. We're almost up to 400 degrees. And that's an okay time by me to pour our mushrooms and onions on this non-stick pan. Now you gotta give me credit. I'm working with one hand. I'm doing the best I can to show you.
there's always one wise guy. And normally, I would like this all to be in one layer. It's just so much easier to cook these vegetables when they're in one layer. But in this case, I love these mushrooms and onions so much. I'm willing to have it slightly over that. Another wise guy. Here we go. And just stir them in. There we go. And the oil is all stirred in. The salt is all stirred in. And we're going to close the cover and we'll come back in five minutes. So five minutes later, let's, let's look at what's going on inside the grill. Yep, we got some cooking going on. And I'm just using this um, nonstick pan with these veggies and it's just doing wonderfully with them. They're gonna cook down, the onions are gonna caramelize, the mushrooms are gonna shrink down. And um, let me check what that temperature is now, because I'm going to close the cover for another five minutes. We're up to 500 scorching degrees, and I'll be right back. Okay, here we are, five minutes and 600 degrees later. Let's see what's going on. Oh my goodness. Look, the mushrooms are cooking down nicely. The onions are caramelizing. This is going to be delicious. Get our spatula, our non-stick spatula on a non-stick pan. Give this a quick stir. Things are happening. Um, try to get a nice long spatula. That way you will not lose all of the hair off your knuckles and maybe the first joints of your fingers. Five minutes later, we're gonna be done. I'll be right back. And here we are, our last five minutes, 600 wonderful degrees. And look at that. That is cooked. These are perfect. I don't wanna cook them anymore because they will vanish. So I always give my film crew off Saturday nights. So they're out disco dancing I'm working with one hand and I have to scoop all of this into my bowl so I'm gonna do that and I'll meet you inside so congratulations look at what you just did you just made these grilled mushrooms and onions now I'm gonna serve these with steak tonight and then in a delicious omelet tomorrow and I'm going to post the recipes for both on StepbyStepChef.com. Now what's really cool about this is when we started, the mushrooms and onions filled this bowl, but look at how they cooked down. Ugh, and the aroma. Now if you want a printable recipe of this very simple mushroom and onions grilled recipe, please visit my website StepbyStepChef.com. There you're going to find over 100 recipes and free video links that will show you how to make them. My name's Larry Richardson. I am your step-by-step -step chef, and I'll see you in the next episode. Mmm.